WebFocus Designer is a web-based content creation and assembly tool that you can use to quickly and easily create data visualizations from the ground up. WebFocus Designer includes tools to blend your data with data flows and then use it to create charts and reports, and then combine those into interactive and responsive pages. Charts let you deliver your data story with visual punch. Reports allow you to present more granular data in an easy-to-navigate format. Pages let you assemble content together to create data stories. Portals let you deliver pages to the right people and even allow you to create their own pages with content that you make available. To create a visualization using WebFocus Designer, from the default WebFocus homepage, click Visualize Data. WebFocus Designer opens. Once you select your data source, you can start creating a single content item on the canvas using the fields in the Resources panel. If you created your content using a master file as the data source, you can bring in additional data through a join by creating a data flow. Click the Data tab. You blend in data, whether it comes from certified or new sources, by dragging it in. Joins are automatically created based on likely relationships using names, titles, and formats to make it quick. You can see information about the blend and change it if you know better. It's easy to figure out if your join will work. You can also see a chart of the values included in your join data source. You can add multiple tables to your data source to greatly enhance the amount of information that you can display. Once your data is ready, you can use it to create your content. WebFocus Designer includes a variety of content types and customization options in order to display crucial information in the most effective way. You can create a chart or report to visualize your data. Each content type has its own strengths, so feel free to try out each one, as well as the many different chart types and different report layouts. Select a content type from the content picker to get started. Drag your desired sort and sum fields to the canvas, or add them to the appropriate bucket. The canvas updates to reflect your changes. You can change chart types and content types easily, and even create matrix charts by adding extra fields to the vertical and horizontal buckets. The available buckets define additional characteristics of the chart, such as legend categories, color scale, or element sizing. You can easily style a chart with options for different parts of the chart. Select a category from the menu on the Format tab, or right-click an area of a chart and click Style. For example, for different data series in the chart, you can change colors, fonts, and more. You can also use runtime options to enhance your chart even further. Options like Auto Drill and Auto Linking allow access to even more content through links, while Insight allows users to create their own chart at runtime based on what you provide. You can also enable the Automatic Refresh option to update a chart with streamed data. Note that these options are only available if you save your content as a single standalone item. Dynamic filters give you real power to tune the data displayed when you run your content. You can set these filters up for user choice at runtime, or use them dynamically as you design the content. At runtime, filters provide easy to understand lists and prompts, optimized for the data types that you are working with. You can even create a new filter at runtime by simply selecting an area of the chart and choosing to limit the display to that selection or to exclude it. If you create a visualization with multiple components, prompted and on-chart filters, displayed on the filter toolbar, affect all content on the page. When you create a filter, numeric fields let you choose from ranges. They offer you lots of power. For dates, you get quick business time periods and also a calendar for custom dates. Dimensional filtering is also fast. Search is built right in. You can also create static filters to filter your data behind the scenes. The filter will always be applied to the content item that it was created for, and it will not be available to modify at runtime. A varied set of options allows you to select static filter values for numeric, alphanumeric, and date fields. To see how the chart appears at runtime, click Run in New Window. While designing your content, there is a default record limit of 500 values in order to save processing time. You can change this in the designer settings. When you preview the chart, all values are displayed and runtime behavior is available. Once you've finished creating your first item, you can save it as a standalone item or add more charts and reports to a responsive page to quickly and easily build meaningful and interactive applications. To create a page, click the Add Visualization button on the toolbar to add a second container when the content changes to a page, or click Convert to Page to transform into a page without adding a second container.
To build more content on the page, click Add Visualization, or simply drag a field or container onto the location on the page where you want it to appear. You can create additional content items using the same set of options that you used for the first item. Here, we are creating a report by adding dimensions to the rows and columns buckets, and measures to the summary bucket. You can easily resize your containers, add new rows, and even add multiple charts or reports to the same container by dragging a field into the panel toolbar. You can navigate through content that shares a single container using tabs, accordion panels, or a carousel control. Use the Properties panel to control advanced page behavior and style the page. Each component type has different styling and formatting options. If you create new content that you want to save separately, you can right-click it in the outline and click Save As. This content, and any other standalone items, can be added to a visualization that is assembled from existing standalone content. To create a visualization with existing content, on the WebFocus homepage, click the plus button and then click Assemble Visualizations, and then select a template. You can add items in your repository to the page from the Content tab on the sidebar. If you add content that uses a dynamic filter to the page, the filter is automatically identified and controls for it can be added to the page with a single click. To add more existing content items to the page, drag an item from the resources tree onto the canvas or add new panels from the container tab on the sidebar. Once you've created some pages, either from new or existing content, you can add them to a portal. Go to the Workspaces section of the homepage, select Application on the action bar, and click Portal. Then specify the portal configuration. The portal structure resembles a folder hierarchy, so you can add your visualizations at the top level or to folders within the portal. You can save new visualizations to a portal folder to add it directly to the portal. When you run the portal, you can access multiple visualizations in one place for easy comparison. To learn more, visit the WebFocus Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.